the Niners are a run first team. They want to run the ball, control the ball with their run game, do play action, you know, lead, not drop back very much, not do two minute drills. Do you think they need to change their philosophy and become a pass first offense that aims to be prolific through the air? Because it looks like not only does every team that wins a Super Bowl have a quarterback that throws for like 40 touchdowns in that year, but if you look at how those quarterbacks perform in the playoffs, it's guys who are throwing like 300 yards a game are winning, not guys who are handing off and throwing for like 180 or 210. Like you got to be prolific down the stretch in the playoffs through the air. Nick Foles was Patrick Mahomes is every time Brady is every time. Like I don't, I don't even know that Purdy is that guy. He's a good fit for a run first offense if he doesn't have to do too much. But do the Niners have to like sort of get with the times and try to outgun these top guns around the league? Yes, they have to. They just have to, man. I've been saying it for a long time. I still believe it. I don't even know if any of the quarterbacks on this roster are capable of it. I don't know if Kyle Shanahan is capable of it. They have no drop back passing game. And they need to have a, that in their repertoire at minimum they have to be balanced at minimum and their passing game consists of dink and dunks it's a really small short passing game they can't stretch the field because they don't have either the quarterback it's to do all it yak. Or they, it's they, all it's yak all yak and that's not going to get it done against top notch defenses when you're trying to put so. up points and hang with top notch quarterbacks it yeah. also leads to injury they, because you're trying to run through a million people versus just yep. beating somebody down the side over the top one on one, right? Yeah. Like imagine Debo, just all he had to get by was a corner <laughs> instead of the linebacker, the defensive end, the freaking safety, the right? It's 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 just clear as hell to me. Uh, it's been that way for a long time. The 49ers offense is it it's extremely tough to watch. I can go watch a high school game on a Friday night and see a better passing game than I see with the 49ers over the last how long 18 years 20 years I think the way I think of it like football is a physical game it's like a fight you're trying to wear them down the run is a jab it's important you got a jab but it's a jab you're jabbing the defense and if that's all you got man there are some freaking there are some heavy hitters coming through in the playoffs that will knock you out. And if you're just going to jab them to death, like you're going to lose. Yeah. So you have to have that knockout punch, you know, that left hook, that the right cross, the uppercut, whatever it is. And the Niners don't. They're just they just jab you to death. So, I, I mean, look at look at the Rams. OK, the Rams had the same offensive philosophy. Sean McVay learned under Mike Shanahan and Kyle Shanahan. They ran the ball a lot. They went to the Super Bowl with um, Todd Gurley and Jared Goff and scored three points. Then they just rebuilt their entire offensive philosophy, brought in Matt Stafford. I mean, their running game was awful. Yeah, They used it just as a jab to keep you honest, but all of a sudden they were prolific, a, a pass-first team, yeah. throwing the ball all over the yard, winning the Super Bowl. Yeah. Yeah. It worked for Sean. It might work for Kyle. And it seems like Kyle was going that direction. You, you bring in Christian McCaffrey. He's he's a better receiver than a running back, and he's good at both. But he's a better – he's super special as a receiver. Yeah. Like, go for it. But that means you actually need to improve your offensive line a little bit. It, it felt like they were trying to go that direction towards the end of the season. And yeah. they noticed that's when they started scoring a lot more points. But what they, yeah. they still didn't have a deep threat. There was still no chance that they're going to go deep on you. Outside of maybe right. a steam for Kittle at like 20, 25 yards, that was basically their deep threat all year right. last year. They did start to pass more, but they still don't have the quarterback yet. Maybe it's Trey Lance. I don't know. Maybe it's Donald. Donald has actually a really good arm. But Brock Purdy is not throwing deep. And is he going to be able to throw deep off a of UCL injury? And it's not about just throwing deep. It's about throwing hard into tight windows. Um, it's about the threat of the deep shot, right? You don't have to – it's like what they should do with Trey Lance. They're running Trey Lance as the main feature running back. I'm not saying throw the ball deep a million times a game, but you have to be able to do it or they're not going to respect it. And they're not balanced in regards to that. It's either run game or it's a screen passing game. That's all it is. And it's not it's – yeah. yeah, and it's like they're they're built to run the ball and to do play action, but – it seems like with defense, the way defenses have evolved to stop the Kyle Shanahan offense, because the Kyle Shanahan offense is like, it's what most, it's like 
thirty percent of the league, right? And everyone knows they want you to their run first team. You got you got to you know they want you to commit to the run so they can hit you with the play action pass. So what do teams do now? They play two deep safeties. Yeah, they're like they invite you to run the ball. They don't care if you run the ball. Yeah. They're like you know if even if you're averaging five yards a carry, we're gonna play two deep safeties because we want you to go. 10 11 12 play drives yeah. and if we can just take away because if we commit if we overcommit to stop the run then you hit us over the top and you get the explosive play and that's what you want if we force you to do an 11 12 play drive you're only gonna execute that twice a game maybe and if you have tom brady in his prime you could do it a lot but really you're probably not gonna execute that there's gonna be a penalty there's gonna be a turnover it's hard to do so it's like, go ahead, man. Like, we're, go ahead and do play action. Like, we're not giving you the chunk play. So, like, what are you really accomplishing by getting under center and turning your back and taking it, – it's, it's slow developing play. Hassan Reddick isn't even reacting to the, the, the play fake. Yeah, I'm just saying. That's why Brock Purdy's injured right now. I'm just saying. Yeah, it's like, a horrible play yeah. call. Because the point, yeah. like, the, you have to respect the play action, one, if you can run, and two, if you can actually pass off of it and be successful yeah. and, and – Run game fine. But if, if defenses are going to say, dude, we're, we're not, we're playing too deep and we're not going to react to that and we don't care, like we want you to run yeah. the ball, then I don't know what, what advantage you're creating. I'm not saying just take away play action in, entirely, but yeah. it seems like defenses are kind of neutralizing its effect a little bit and maybe you need to find another way to attack off. Like Philadelphia, drink, Philly's offense is not necessarily explosive. Like they don't do a lot of uh, play action. What they do is the RPO stuff. Which just puts it just puts one defender in conflict. It puts one defender in a in a position where he has to defend two things, and you read him and you and you play off that. That's easy, and that's not getting you twenty yards. It's getting you ten, maybe yeah. seven, yeah. and you just stay steadily ahead of the chains. That's all Philly ever does. That's all they do. They take a couple shots here and there down the sideline. That's it. And this is that's why it. I'm. This is why I keep. People think I'm a, like a Trey Lance stand, and it's 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 actually ridiculous. If you really know me, I don't have a I don't have a single 49ers jersey. I don't fanboy out on any of these players. I like the 49ers in general, right? I don't even call myself faithful. I know that's going to piss a lot of people off because I don't believe necessarily I'm going to have faith in everything the 49ers do. I don't think that way. All I'm saying is I've watched the 49ers for a long time. I believe in the 49ers, and I know. Or not, I believe in the 49ers, but I believe if the 49ers want to win a Super Bowl, they have to have a passing game. They need an elite quarterback. And the reason why I talk so much about I want Trey Lance because he's the only quarterback on this team, in my opinion, that has the potential to possibly get there. Will he get there? I don't know. And if it turns out he doesn't have that ability, I'll want him off the damn team too. Yeah. Sure I see that that's the case. I'm not sure that any of the Niners quarterbacks have it. I mean, it's so rare to find the quarterback that can do this because, I mean, Lance – even in college, he played in a run first team. He 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 was a dual threat quarterback. Like maybe he can get there, but I think he was he's here because he fits a run first structure, which is what the Niners want. And I like the Niners didn't want Patrick Mahomes. He threw the ball like five hundred times a season in college, like from but it was from the spread, so it didn't count. And it's not their kind of offense. They wanted C.J. Beathard, who was in the Big Ten yeah. under center, handing off as if that's a skill you need to practice. That's what they want. So I, I don't know that the guy is on the team, and I don't, I don't know that he is. We'll see. And I, I don't know that the Niners have the approach to let that guy flourish if they ever found him. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Because your job here is to, turn, is, to, is to freaking hand off and check down. This might be the reason why Kyle Shannon never wins one. Yeah. This might be the reason. It, it's yeah. just because he can't find that quarterback. He doesn't have that passing offense. McVay it, figured it out. And what's crazy, think about it, think about it. So McVay and Kyle – both wanted Stafford, and they both wanted McCaffrey. But McVay outbid Shanahan for Stafford. At a certain point, Shanahan was not quite motivated enough, or they, uh, he didn't even get to this. He, he just wasn't – McVay beat him to the punch. But when the running back was available, Kyle was Johnny on the spot. Kyle you know, gave Carolina an offer they couldn't refuse. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah. I think that says a lot about those two. I, I do you think if Matt Stafford was on the 49ers instead of the Rams, the Niners win the Super Bowl instead? That or he gets – yes, that or he would get injured. That's one of the two. If, if the Niners could keep him healthy for 21 games, mm -hmm. yes, they would have won the Super Bowl. Yes. But the rub with the Niners is, is they can't even do that. So Because, again, they go cheap at the two most important positions on the team. Yeah. Both of them. It's frustrating. This is why I get it's so frustrating. frustrated watching this. Yeah. This organization. This is why I get like I speak out on Kyle Shanahan. I get frustrated because it, it just feels like it's ass backwards. 
It is. Again, I, the de- I, they're stuck in what, I don't know what you, 2004, 1999, and it feels like John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan are both trying to, John's trying to prove that you can still build a champion the way he won. his championship team was built. Yep. And Kyle's trying to prove that you can still build a champion the way his dad's championship team was built. That's the way I feel about the 49ers. Yep. And they have this cool team that's physical and they grind teams uh, opponents down. And the next week, the, the, the team they play doesn't win because it's so such a bruising fight. But it's like, that's all participation trophy bullshit. Did you yep. win the Super Bowl? No. Do you have a Super Bowl winning formula? Apparently not. But you I mean, stick to it. Right now, let's be honest. Right now, Trey Lance, Brock Purdy, Sam Darnold. Are those Super Bowl winning quarterbacks? No. No, they're not. And they call themselves a win now team, but they're not serious. And then you talk about right tackle. We're going to talk about two. It's either going to be Colton McKivitz or Nick Sakel. Like, man, I mean, you're really hoping Chris Forrester works magic there. Yeah. Fifth round pick, sixth, sixth round pick with traits. Cool. All right. Well, yeah. you know, I, maybe. If, if if they're gonna trade Trey Lance, they need to get get a right, starting right tackle. Otherwise, <laughs> I hope they don't trade Trey Lance. I think they're not gonna trade Trey Lance. I think it would be stupid. But if they do, they better walk away with that. Lucky Luciano says, "Is it me or does Purdy remind anyone of Sean Hill?" Sorry, same number. Purdy's a better athlete than Sean Hill, but yeah, same same arm. He reminds me of Tua. I can see that. I can see that. Oh, Tua with confidence. Tua was so lacking confidence against yeah. the Niners. I couldn't at the believe it. Though, at the beginning of the season? Yeah, oh, yeah. It's true. Yeah. Ricardo, thank you. Randy, um, to avoid worst trade of all time is to not trade Lance. If he's a bust, then hold on to him uh, on his rookie contract. That is that is the best way to avoid, to avoid the worst trade of all time, unless the first one was. Lamonte 757 says, do you think we will trade Trey Lance for Malik Willis? Watch his highlights and seems like Kyle would like him. He can make the easy throws Lance can't make, yet... Plus, he has more experience than Trey Lance. Malik Willis. I don't has see shown him the liking game. Malik. I don't see him liking Malik Willis. No, I, I don't see it. I would see him just drafting a quarterback in this draft. Um, because if, if you're trading Trey Lance, Malik Willis is in the similar vein. The weirdest thing about the Trey Lance pick is that all Kyle Shanahan really wants is somebody that can run his offense, get the ball out quick. And that's it. That's all they want. Someone who's good enough. Yeah, so he should why? be looking at someone who's one of the best quarterbacks in the league, but what? that's not what he's Trey needs. Lance doesn't even make sense why they drafted him, honestly. It doesn't even line up with what no. they No, like. you just need a guy who's like instantly ready because Kyle doesn't want to develop. You know what I mean? Want, they don't need a big arm. They just need to be able to dink and dunk, run screen. It's true. You, you, your offense goes through your running back, not your quarterback. Yeah. Because every play is either a handoff or a fake handoff. 